Welcome to the mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting integral uh, here mn uh, m is greater than 2n is greater than 0 and x to the m minus x to the n over natural log of x times cosine of natural log of 1 over x dx. Okay, how to start? Well, uh, first here natural log of 1 over x uh, we can simplify uh, like here integral from 0 to 1 x to the m minus x to the n over natural log of x times cosine of uh, now here we can write uh, this is equal to x to the minus 1 and minus 1 we can write uh, here minus natural log of x dx okay then uh, here we have cosine of uh, the angle minus natural log of x so I am going to uh, take a substitution u is equal to minus natural log of x then we can uh, differentiate du is equal to minus 1 over x dx also uh, here we know natural log of x is equal to minus u then we can isolate the x x is equal to e to the minus u then uh, we can plug in here so now we should change the boundaries when x approaches to 0 uh, we know u approaches to infinity so here infinity when x approaches to 1 uh, we know u approaches to 0 then x we know e to the minus u here m power so e to the minus m times u here e to the minus n times u over natural log of x we know minus u so minus u times here cosine of uh, natural minus natural log of x we know u here dx dx we know uh, minus x times du x we know e to the minus u so we have minus e to the minus u times du okay then uh, we can simplify now we can uh, change uh, this boundaries when we change this boundary this minus get cancelled so here 0 to infinity <coughs> now we can multiply by e to the minus u so here we can uh, simplify e to the minus u here e to the minus mu so e to the minus m plus 1 times u minus e to the minus n plus 1 times u over here minus u uh, here cosine of u d u okay then uh, what do you think uh, now what am i going to do okay then uh, now i am going to write here 0 to infinity now here cosine of u cosine of u then uh, for this part uh, we can uh, write uh, this part as a integral uh, because here uh, if we take n plus 1 to m plus 1 n plus 1 to m plus 1 e to the minus x times u dx and here d u now if we integrate e to the minus x u we know e to the minus x u over minus u minus u is okay and limit we know n plus 1 to m plus 1 so e to the minus m plus 1 times u minus e to the minus n plus 1 times u okay now we know this is okay okay then uh, here now 0 to uh, sorry here we can write n plus 1 to m plus 1 n plus 1 to m plus 1 integral from 0 to infinity cosine of u times e to the minus x times u uh, here du here dx okay then uh, this is the interesting part we know uh, this is equal to uh, laplace transform of cosine of u i think uh, it's clear for you because uh, in the previous video uh, we also discuss uh, this type of question so we can write uh, now this is equal to integral from n plus 1 to m plus 1 uh, here this is equal to 
Laplace transform of cosine of u but uh, here when s is equal to x s is equal to x here dx okay then um, this is equal to n plus 1 to m plus 1 now we know laplace transform of cosine function uh, s over x square plus 1 but s is equal to x so here x over x square plus 1 dx now we can write here uh, 1 half n plus 1 to m plus 1 2 times x over x square plus 1 dx now we know uh, the derivative of x square plus 1 are replaced in the numerator so here natural log of x square plus 1 from n plus 1 to m plus 1 uh, so we can write 1 half now if we plug in m plus 1 here m plus 1 square so we can simplify natural log of m square plus 2m plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 uh, minus natural log of here sorry natural log of n square plus 2 times n plus 2 okay now according to property of natural log we can write uh, this is equal to natural log of m square plus 2 times m plus 2 over n square plus 2 times n plus 2 okay this is the answer if you like uh, this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching